Hi, this is Manancial V. In this episode, I'll show you how to use Luma map transitions in LumaFusion. Here are some examples. Let's start by discussing how Luma map transitions work, and right after that, I'll show you how to apply them in LumaFusion. Check the timestamps in the video if you want to skip the theory and jump directly to LumaFusion. A Luma map transition is a short black and white video that, when applied to two videos, one on top of the other, determines which part of each of the two videos are shown based on the luminosity of the mat. Take, for example, this mat. Black represents the bottom video, which is the video you are transitioning from. White represents the top video, which is the video you are transitioning to. Here's how the Luma Matte transition looks when applied in LumaFusion. A Luma Matte transition starts from a full black screen, fully showing the video you are transitioning from, and ends in a full white screen, fully showing the video you are transitioning to. Now take a look at this Luma Matte transition. Shades of grey in this matte define the dissolve, meaning how much is seen from the top and bottom videos. Darker greys define a dissolve that shows more of the video you are transitioning from and less of the video you are transitioning to. Lighter tones of grey work the other way around. Here's the transition in action. Consider now this Luma Matte transition. Monochromatic gradients are still shades of grey and the dissolved principles I mentioned for the previous mat apply here as well. Monochromatic gradients applied to the edges of a transition will blur the lines separating the two videos in the transition. Here's how this mat looks when applied. Luma mat transitions are easy to find. You can download them from Storyblocks, YouTube, and other sources. They are also easy to create in LumaFusion, using titles animated with keyframes. Just remember to start with a full black screen and end with a full white screen. Here are some examples that I created myself. Now let's see how easy it is to use Luma Matte transitions in LumaFusion. This is the transition that we'll be creating for this tutorial. It is based on this mat. We start with a Luma Fusion project containing the two clips to which the transition will be applied and the Luma Mat transition. Place the mat above the first video clip aligned to its end. Edit the mat and change the blend mode to Silhouette Luma. This blend mode creates a silhouette using the luminosity values of the mat. Brighter areas will show as a black silhouette, while darker areas will become semi-transparent or transparent, revealing the track below the mat. Now clone the mat and place the cloned copy of the mat at the beginning of the second clip. Edit the cloned mat and add the invert effect. This is how it looks so far. As you can see, the first video is obscured towards the end as defined by the mat. 
and the beginning of the second clip starts completely obscured and gets progressively revealed. With one map being an inverted copy of the other, obscured areas in the two videos are mutually exclusive. Areas obscured on one video will be visible on the other, and vice versa. The same principle applies to the transparency defined by the shades of grey. For example, an area with 20% luminosity in one video will have 80% luminosity in the other. Now, export the project. Stay on the same project and add the video you just exported above the existing clips on a new track. You can assign a color to the newly added clip so it's easier to identify in the next steps. This will be especially helpful if you are following this workflow for multiple transitions at the same time. Using the second track as guidance, isolate the area that contains the second matte transition in the newly added clip by cutting as shown. Next, move all three clips you just cut to the main track. Move the clip in the middle containing the isolated mat just above the first clip and align it to the end, as shown. Edit the clip you just moved and change the blend mode to linear dodge. This blend mode will especially help with areas showing tones of grey where there is a dissolve and the two clips in the transition are displayed. Exit back to the timeline. And we are done. Here's the end result. If you made it this far, there is a link to a LumaFusion project that I created containing over 20 Luma transition mats in the description of this tutorial. Here are some of the transitions you'll find in the LumaFusion project. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like, and click on the bell so you are notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.